hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with hopefully a short video on how to replace our thermal paste on our cpu if you have higher temperatures than you had when you bought your computer because it already passed one year or two years and you never changed your thermal compounds then probably it's time to do it now today we are going to use the kfa thermal compounds i'll show you on this camera right over here and yes kfa2 uh, usually we review gpus and they have some awesome awesome gpus soon i'll share the 3070 ti which i'm already playing with it right over here soon enough this week probably and here we are with the thermal grease i will show you right over here some of the technical aspects so that you can read just pause the video and that's it and let's go for it so why should you change and is it difficult no it's not difficult we will see it right over here and you should change if you notice that your cpu has higher temperatures than it had if you don't know if the temperature is too high or not then just get cpu z which is a free software and you will be able to tell the temperatures that your cpu is running by the way this motherboard is one of the latest motherboards from nzxt this is the z590 i will share with you in a couple of days it's really a nice nice motherboard that being said first step we will need to remove the cpu cooler by the way the material that i'll be using is uh, toilet paper because it's a very soft paper you can also use a tissue a soft issue tissue and it will do the same um, or uh, if you want also a microfiber cloth to do some finishes uh, in terms of replacing the uh, thermal compounds now that being said ah and alcohol as well so that we can clean because alcohol it's a nice liquid to dilute the thermal compounds and uh, at the same time even if we drop alcohol on one of the components it will dry very fast and it will not damage the uh, components so that it's the, the way that i usually do there are several ways i believe that none of them are, are wrong none of them is the best so my suggestion is always to check out a few videos check out a few tutorials read here and there check out the benefits of doing this way or that way and just follow along but in my opinion uh, on all the tests that i've done and so on and so forth the result is basically the same if we have a good cooler if we have a nice thermal compound then that is it and let's cut the chit chat and remove the cpu cooler so this is the uh, factory cpu cooler i'm just going to uh, rotate these uh, not screws but these plastic thingies so rotate it here here and on this two as well and once i rotate i can then lift it up and i can remove the cooler from its position and there we go now just remove the cable and sometimes we don't need to remove the cable but in this particular case to show you here we go so this thermal compound has actually something like five minutes because i did replace it for the portuguese video by the way but we are going to clean it up and replace it and here on the cpu as well as you can see so first of all i'm going to take a little bit of paper right over here and with the help of the alcohol and by the way this alcohol is 96% uh, you can check it right over here so this is the kind of uh, alcohol that I use on electric components um, and so far so good I didn't have any accident any <laughs> issue whatsoever on all these years using this kind of alcohol so probably going to speed up a little bit here because this is a boring task okay so the cooler is cleaned and of course we have some parts right over here of uh, paper and so on so forth but that's from other usages this will not uh, by any means hurt the uh, the temperatures of our cpu so all is okay right over here just that we clean up the thermal compound that was applied one year before two years or something like that and it will be okay now we are going to do the same here on the cpu with a piece of paper and some alcohol as well
and that's it. It's clean enough. So this is a i5 11600K CPU, which in my opinion is one of the best in the market right now in terms of performance to price uh, ratio. Now let's put it back in place, put the motherboard holder back in place and we are ready to apply the thermal grease. So once again, KFA2, they have some new devices, not only GPUs, which I will show with you guys in a couple of days. So here we are. Now there are several ways of applying the thermal compound. Some people defend that we should only put a little bit on top of the CPU and then let the CPU uh, cooler do its work and just spread the paste with the pressure. And that's one of the ways that I use it. But KFA2 did include a Thing that um, it's used to spread the paste so I will use the recommended um, way of KFA2 so let's put a little bit here on the middle and like so and now I can just spread with this accessory and it's an easy thermal compound to work. It's not very liquid. It's not very thick. I do believe that it's nice to do a good contact on the CPU cooler and the CPU. And what we are going to do right now is just to apply the cooler right over here. The reverse. So let's put back these um, holders right over here. So in this particular case, the arrow, just in case you have a stock cooler the arrow will go back uh, like so and like so as well and we are ready to place it so just put them put it back uh, aligned then we can do a little bit of force can you just push a little bit and it will start to hold there we go to If, if one like this one is stuck, just do it once again and then put it back and it will go there. And the same with this one. If you feel that it's not going down, then just do it, uh, unscrew it and then put it back and there we go. Now just need to reconnect right over here and then put the cable nicely hidden right here and once I put the RAM stick it will be right there and guys basically this is it. this is the way that I replace thermal compound in this particular case the KFA2 new thermal compound in a few days I will be able to test out in different CPU coolers uh, the temperatures that we can reach maxing out the CPU and I can do that with several CPUs so uh, just stay tuned to the channel and as soon as possible I will share all that info with you hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one